For the weeder, man, back changing the oil on my uh, Jeep Wrangler. So the first thing I did is, carefully, it's hard to do with these big containers of oil, is I, I'll fill the filter up. This is old school. Just to get the filters somewhat saturated with oil already. Don't want too much because this one here is at, actually at an angle. So if I put too much in it and I turn it on the side, it'll just pour it out. So I just put enough. The filter will suck up whatever oil I put in there. You can see it dropping. And just pre-lubricate the, the filter. That's a choice thing. I just do it because good mechanical practices. And uh, that way I know I already have some oil in the filter. It's going to pull in about a half a quart maybe. Because that's the volume it takes up. Some, some are larger. Some, some, some take a quart. Actually, depends how big they are. But anyways, this typical filter. Um, this is what I do. I pre-fill it, I let it soak it up. It's your choice. I'm not saying you have to do it. To me, it makes sense. That way you're not starving the motor when you start it up after you change oil. It's already got it in the filter. So anyways, uh, that looks pretty good. Uh, I'll clean it up a little bit. I'll put, I'll take my glove and I'll make sure the seal's got a, so it's slippery. I'll pull this back in a little bit. That way it doesn't pour on me. It's, good. it's hard with a big bottle. Anyways, I'll get as much as this. I can't off the pre-lip. Anyways, that's type of my pre-staging. I know my filter's ready because once I pull the old one down and I drain it, I'm just going to put the new one right on. All right? So, it's your option. Anyway, the weeder man out, just giving suggestions.